Get in there! See you later, snooze gate! Although, do we need to be careful what we wish for? Is Eddie Howe is the favourite to take over. Morning everyone, and it is a good morning because Gareth Southgate has stepped down as England manager. Just a quick one from me on this as we will go into it in more depth in tonight's live podcast. As always, every Tuesday at 7pm live TMC podcast. Loads of other stuff to get through as well, transfer rumours and the rest of it. But this morning, jump on, breaking news, Southgate is gone. He has decided enough is enough, thankfully, because I've had enough, as well as the majority of England fans have. Throughout that tournament, yes, we got to a final. I'll tell you what, we'll get into that in a minute. We'll get into how I feel and the thoughts and everything in a minute. But the breaking news is Southgate has stepped down. The FA wanting to keep him for another couple of years. They were happy for him to take control towards that World Cup. His contract ran out this December, I think. So he had a couple of Nation League games ready for him in the next couple of months. Six weeks or so until the next one. Not long at all. But he pre Premier League's back and then there's a bit International break and straight off. Um, so yeah, not long until he would have been in charge again. Only for a few months and then his contract ran out. But the FA were offering an extension to the 2026 World Cup over there in the United States, Mexico and Canada. Southgate has decided time is up after eight years in charge of this country. And his record on paper looks phenomenal. Well, I say phenomenal. It's with the Nelly men. Cursed as a Newcastle and England fan. Nelly men in the 90s. Keegan. FA Cup finals, defeats, top of the league, finishing second, defeats, you know, and then England, two finals, back-to-back, back-to-back losses, came home with absolutely no, apart from a bloody silver medal or whatever, pointless crap they get, so back-to-back Euro finals, defeats, a quarter final in the last World Cup, defeat of France, before that, the Euro final, and then the semi-final of the World Cup in 2018, the Southgate's first major tournament against Croatia, so on paper, Late knockout stages, very successful manager throughout the time there. Uh, you know, against other people that's managed the country in the past, he's done amazingly well, like I say, on paper. But let's be real here, this tournament was awful. We fluked it to the final, massively fluked it. And we bottled it again in the last in the last hurdle, you know. If you look at it, Spain were 1-1. Yeah, 1-1 because he brought on subs, and again, the subs did well. But it gets to the point where you think... These subs continue to win games. Are these subs not starters? You know what I mean? They're saving his arse every time through moments of brilliance, through moments of magics. Watkins, one chance finish. Palmer, one chance finish. And we're in the final like that. And then we're 1-1 with a few minutes to go. And again, we're doing what England did. Didn't learn from the past mistakes against Italy in the last Euros final. Sat back, sat back, and baited pressure. Bang, lo and behold. Who shocked? Not me. For the, the Spain win. England concede late on there. And uh, we sat back, the tactics have been awful all time, we've barely had any shots, we've barely had possession, we couldn't break anyone down, we couldn't entertain anyone, we've had a good 40 minutes against Netherlands in the semi-final and that was it. I will be honest though and say it to Southgate, you know, his big players didn't turn up, Phil Foden, crap tournament apart from again a little spell against Holland, um, you know your Declan races, bad tournament... Uh, Kyle Walker finished, bad tournament, but again, Southgate's picking these favourites when you've got players on the bench who should be coming on. Even Bellingham and stuff, you know, didn't do that well, especially in the final. Those big moments, they didn't turn up, didn't do enough, to be fair. And the, the rifle winners in Spain got it, you know, they were the better side, they won all them games, they played good football, they had a system. I tell you what, if Delafonte was in charge of England, we would have won that game, because that's all it came down to for me. Tactics and manager. Our bench, way stronger than Spain's. You know, Spain had got bloody Perez and Hosselu on their bench. We had Watkins, Palmer, Gordon. Gordon was there. You know, you may not have thought so because you never bastard seen him, but he was there. Anthony Gordon never got picked. Best left winger in the Premier League last season. What did we miss all tournament long this summer in Germany? Left winger. Left width. Attacking. The press. The pace. Gordon was perfect for it. But listen, Southgate is gone. We're going to listen listening to who could be replaced him soon, as you would have seen the title. Eddie Howe is the favourite. We're going to get into loads more of that in the next podcast. But just quickly, I want to see what Southgate has said on Sky Sports here. Uh, so, just two days after the final, he's gone. He said that it's been an honour, the honour of his life. Uh, and it's meant everything to him to play and manage for his country. Remember, he took over Sam Aldi's bloody hell. Awful, that. Um, we all know his record. We've spoken about it before. 
It was due to expire end of this year, his contract. Time for a change in a new chapter, said Southgate. Me, I agree. As a proud Englishman, it has been the honour of my life to play for England and to manage England. It has meant everything to me and I have given it my all. Well, your all's not enough, Gareth. And I, you know, I don't want to be not... Because yes, I'm winding up because I, I think we've completely wasted this tournament. I said before the tournament we'd be wasted if we left Southgate in charge. I still thought the players would carry him over the line when I said it was coming home. But I said it also, you know, we're going to waste a generation of talent here. And luckily to them, a lot of them are still young. But um, we're wasted it this year and I think we're wasting the Euros. We should be back-to-back -back Euros winners, not back-to-back -back Euros finalists. So, it's time for a change, a new chapter. Sunday's final in Berlin against Spain was my final game as England manager. I joined the FA in 2011, determined to improve English football. In that time, including eight years as England men's manager, I've been supported by some brilliant people who have my heartfelt thanks. Bigging up his assistant there, Steve Holland. Privilege of managing over 102 games. Uh, and he again talks about the exciting young talent we've got that they can win a trophy we all dream of. He's so proud of them and we get behind the players and the FA who strive every day to improve but English football, blah, 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 blah. Special thanks to backroom, best fans in the world. I look forward to watching and celebrating as the players go on to create more special moments. Thank you, England, for everything. And listen, thank you, Southgate, for bringing up English football a bit. I will say that because, you know, before that we had Sam Allies. Before that we had the, the Svens and the quarterfinals and the penalty shootouts. He did get a good at penalties, I'll give him that. And he did obviously bring the team together um, massively. You know, he really did. There was a great spirit there, great unity. And that was fantastic, that was fine. I, I even said, yeah, the quarter-final defeat against France, I thought, you know, I came into the penalty, it's unlucky, and in that tournament we played a bit better, and the Euros have played good, back in, back in when it was uh, COVID times, England, Wembley settings. But it was this tournament where I just thought beforehand, oh, yeah, fresh change, new style of play, everything else, and that's where we're at now, for me. And that is where we're at, and that's where we need to go to the next level, to get a manager in that wins things, and plays better football, and has more tactics, because this was embarrassing throughout the Euros, to be honest with you. Salvaging, Scraping through, lucky side of the draw, last minute winners against bloody Slovakia, overhead kicks and that to get there, you know? That's why I thought it was coming home as well, because those moments, it seems like it's destiny written in the stars. But it wasn't, and it's, it is time for change. It is time for someone new. It's time to try and get over the line, because the players are there. They just need a push. They need that tactical change. So let's have a look then, just to clarify, so you don't think I'm talking bollocks. Next England manager... Favourites. We'll go with obviously the bookies odds, but everyone's saying you know uh, Eddie Howe's the favourite. So you can just Google it yourself, like I've just done there. And yeah, Eddie Howe is right there, closely followed by Graham Potter, Lee Carsley, Thomas Tuchel, Pochettino, Klopp, Lampard, Mancini, and then obviously the list is a very, very long one. So Eddie Howe, favourite to replace Gareth Southgate. This is something we'll go into a lot more in tonight's podcast. More so on who could replace him since we've touched on the breaking news. But what I will say is that Eddie Howe will be targeted. Eddie Howe is the perfect man for the job in the sense of that style of play, the tactics that I've said. Because if Eddie Howe's there in that final against Spain the other night and we're playing 4-3-3 and we're pressing and we're energetic and all the rest of it, we'll go on to win that game for me. And uh, I think he would have started the legs of Watkins. Definitely would have started Gordon. You know, so that would have had a front three for me of Watkins, Gordon and... Um, Bakayo Saka so, or maybe even Palmer so how frightening and wonderful would that have been to watch at least it'll be more entertaining now surely whoever comes in next no more snoozegate football but will Eddie Howe take it it's tough you know I've always said he won't I've always said Eddie Howe will not take the job I've always said how much he's a workaholic he lives and breathes football he said in a recent interview with Gary Neville that it's his aspiration to be an England manager but probably not in the short to medium term because He's not done at club management level yet. And I feel and I hope that that is the case. That he's still got unfinished business at club level. He wants to be the one to win a trophy with Newcastle. And I think it's it's important he gets that experience as well. Because we see he's the right man for the job. But Eddie Howe hasn't really won a trophy yet either. Great achievements at Bournemouth and everything. Getting them up the leagues. Newcastle, he lost in the final. Carabao Cup to Manchester United last season. Season before. In the Champions League. Bit of experience there now. But... But we need him to win us a trophy. Then he can go on and get rid of England's curse of a trophy for 66 as well, you know. So do it here first, please, Eddie. And I hope he does stay for the next few years at least. Because I think he is destined and will be England manager one day. But I'm hoping and I'm thinking that that one day isn't any time soon. Because I think he's got, you know, like I say, too much investment in the Newcastle United project and club football is where he is at heart and head right now. But if the FA come knocking... Could change the story. Listen, they're saying he would have to take a pay cut. They're saying that Eddie Howe's on a 
got a 5 million release clause now. So it's there. Or the FA can turn to second favourite there, you know, Graham Potter. He's unemployed. It's not a bad shout. It doesn't get as massively exciting. And his football and stuff's a bit better. Um, but it's not an amazing appointment, is it? Like, really gets you, you so excited. Um, Lee Cosley, the under 21 gaffer. Feels like a Southgate route again. I, I can't really judge Cosley. Great work in the youth levels and whatnot, but this is a different story now. Going from under 21s to. To the men's team, how would he have done against Spain? I don't know. I can't really call it. I would like Thomas Tuchel. I would like Jurgen Klopp. These are the fifth and sixth managers on the list alongside Pochettino. I would like Jurgen Klopp. Apparently Poch is interested in it as well. He'd be happy to speak to them. Of course he would. That bloke's love jumping around jobs. Klopp would be the best appointment for me. You know, serial winner. Great character. Great state of play. So that would be ideal. But I can't see him taking it. I don't think Klopp would take the England job. Not yet, anyways. He's, even though it would suit him because he says, you know, the stress and the burnout, he'd have longer. Obviously, months go by, you're not day to day. But I can't see him taking it. I think he will manage Germany one day. Tuchel, though, that could be well decent, that. I like the idea of Thomas Tuchel. I don't mind if a German comes in. I don't mind who comes in. If you're German, Albanian, Spanish, Kazakhstan, never heard of a Kazakhstan manager, Borat. But anyone. Who looks like they can win a trophy? I, I used to always say, "Oh, it has to be an Englishman," and ideally an Englishman. But when I look at that list, because obviously I want how to stay, I want a winner. I want someone who, if, I, if I've got Thomas Tuchel in charge of me and my England team at the World Cup, I've got faith that he could win it. If Graham Potter's there, I, I don't know, you know. So for me, let's get someone like that in. Wait and see. There are loads more of that on tonight's podcast at 7 p.m. live on YouTube. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What do you make of the Southgate news? Did you agree that he did walk? Or would you have kept him on? Who should be next? Will Eddie Howe choose England if they approached him? Subscribe to the channel. Give this one a like. See you in the next one.